Hey everybody, it's Megan Klingenberg. Uh, welcome to the Q&A with me. I'm excited to be here. I'm super stoked for our game this weekend. Make sure you tune in. Thorns first Western New York Flash. Woo, go Thorns. Anyways, um, if you guys have questions about the game, the NWSL, the national team, uh, you have questions about Megasodes and what I like to eat and things we do before games to prep, then send those in. I'd love to answer them. I'm super excited to be here, and uh, I know we have the best fans, so I'm excited to answer your questions. So let's see them. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Those aren't questions, but hey. How's it going? Yeah. I'm sideways? What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm right side up. How excited am I for the playoffs? Uh, man, I'm so excited. This is kind of what you play for every every year, every game. There's something that when we were playing for the Shield, we knew that we wanted to put ourselves in the best position to be uh, champions at the end of the year, and I think we did that. We did a great job. And um, I'm super excited. I can't wait. I know our stadium's going to be rocking. We're going to have a sellout game, and our fans are going to be <laughs> double as loud as they, they, they are in typical games. So I'm really excited, and I think the team is preparing well, and we look good. Who is the hardest player you have to defend? Oh, in the league? Jeez, I'm glad I don't have to defend against Tobin because she's been making people look stupid all year. It's insane. Uh, but I have to say that one of the hardest things to defend is, is a cross back, back post. Um, especially when you're playing against players like Jess McDonald and Lynn Williams. And we're taking them on this, this weekend, so it'll be fun. But that's always really difficult because you have to be able to watch the player uh, outside your peripheral vision and watch the, the ball coming across. So that's probably one of the hardest things to defend. Did you get the bacon from the Megasode? <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody wants to know that. And it's been about a year of Megasodes. And we're going to have kind of a compilation of a Megaversary, I guess you could call it, coming up where we discuss all these things. And you're going to have to tune in to find out. How many times has Tobin nutmegged you? I would say... It's an equivalent. So however many times she's not made me, I've not made her. <laughs> Let's see. How do you like Portland? Do you miss Houston? There are definitely certain things about Houston that I miss. I loved my host family, the Van Gundys. Um, I loved how in October it was really warm. <laughs> but I would say I have no regrets, and I'm incredibly stoked to be a at Portland and you can't beat the environment and the club and the teammates and the coaches and the fans so and the coffee so I'm excited to be here how do I personally think the season has gone for the Thorns this year well thus far I think it's gone pretty great winning the shield means that you're the most consistent team in the league across the entire regular season so that in and of itself is is successful so i'm really excited that we were able to do that and if we keep playing like we're able to play and and our a game then we're really hard to beat so if we play our a game then i think we give ourselves a great shot of winning so who did win that lip sync battle i i can't reveal unfortunately it was a a closed teams competition and i feel like i would be violating the the laws of teammatehood I don't even know if that's a word uh, if I were to reveal that so what do you like most about playing for the thorns jeez I love game days and I love game days for the national team I love game days when I play for when I played for Houston, but there's something really special about game days in Portland. Like there's a buzz about the city, there's a buzz about the stadium. You can see fans lining up outside Providence Park and I just love stepping out on the field, especially when there's like a little a little breeze, a little mist. 
the turf is slick with water and we can play as fast as we want. There's just something special about that. What do you do during NWSL off season? <laughs> Usually I'm with the national team. This year I'm definitely gonna take vacation. <laughs> it's been two years of constant playing, so hope this off season I'm definitely gonna take a take a break, re energy re energize, recharge, so I can be just as passionate about soccer next year as I am about this year. What does a defender want, need from a goalkeeper? I need you to save my ass every time I mess up. <laughs> That's pretty much what I need. I need Betos to make game-changing saves or whatever, whenever the back line or the team in front of her messes up. And they're kind of the last resort. And she's been awesome this year. It's been really great to watch. You said before that you've been friends with Tobin since you were teens. What's your favorite off-field memory from your teen years together? That is probably something that Tobin is better at answering. But I think one of my favorite stories is when we were in Brazil and uh, we went on this Jeep tour with the national team and we were like just little baby youth players. And we got these like coconuts and we were sipping you know, coconut milk out of these coconuts and we were, uh, gosh, going like almost vertical up these mountains in these Jeeps and I literally thought I wasn't gonna make it home. Probably screamed like a little baby. And Tobin's all there to witness it. I'm sure she remembers, unfortunately. Okay, wondering if you have any advice for an injured player going through a rough time. Back in 2012, right after the Olympics, I had surgery on my shoulder and it was a pretty intense surgery and I couldn't play for six months. And that's one of the, the hardest times, I think, as a player that I've gone through because a lot of your identity, a lot of what you do, a lot of what you love is wrapped up in soccer. And when you're not able to play, when you're not able to work towards the goals that you're normally working towards, it's really tough. But I would say just keep on track with your recovery. Have other things that you love to do, like reading or whatever it is that you find interesting and, and passionate, and try and learn something new while, while you can. And that's a, that's a time when, you know, I really invested in uh, learning about different things, like, geez, business wise, like how businesses run, how accounting works. And I know that sounds super boring, and it kind of is, but I I find it interesting. So. Who are you closest to on the national team? Yee. So all my friends, I, I like everybody on the national team there. I respect them and I think we have mutual respect for each other, which is imperative when you, when you want to win. But obviously there's always people that you're closer to than others. And uh, I'm really close to Pino and I love Becky Sauerbrunn and uh, Chris and Press, Tobin. They're all, you know, I have a bunch of friends on the team and they're all awesome, and we have a blast together. What is the most awkward awkward date you've been on? <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. I would probably say, like, this first date that I had with this guy back in college. He took me out to um, an ice cream place and he picked me up on his scooter which was hilarious in and of itself and then we went to this ice cream place and they're like oh um sorry we only take cash and he's like I don't have any cash so I ended up paying for it because he, he didn't have any cash and then on top of that I think after we were like just kind of walking around getting our ice cream and he tripped over this brick in the sidewalk which is quite common at Chapel Hill because that's just like there's just so many bricks I was but he spilled his ice cream everywhere and I was like do you want to go back and get another ice cream that I can pay for no okay that was the end of that one do you agree that Mark Parsons is the best dress coach um obviously I love I'm loving that all black look straight up Johnny Cash style what are your favorite places to eat in Portland? Ooh, that's a good one. I really like 
this place called the Vitopia Cheese Shop. And it's got all this vegan cheese and they do vegan cheese platters and stuff. And it's amazing. Like, I know that sounds disgusting when you think vegan cheese, but I'm serious. It's so good. I had mac and cheese yesterday. I had a cheese platter. And, like, the people there are super nice, too. So that's definitely one of my favorite places. What do you think of Ash's new haircut? Straight fire. Pump up song? Hmm. Definitely changes. So it's not always the same pump up song. It could be, you know, Drake one day, Rihanna, and then the next day it could be like country. It just kind of depends on the mood. It, it depends on, you know, what I'm feeling, but yeah, it's always changing. Thoughts on Lindsay Horan going blonde? <laughs> I love these questions. Uh, Lindsay Horan going blonde. She's already blonde, guys. Just saying. But, yeah, I think she looks awesome. I told her that I loved her brown, and now I love her blonde. She can pull off any look. I'm glad it's being recorded so I get major friend points. Favorite city I visited? Hmm. Favorite city I've visited outside the U.S. is Stockholm, probably, and Rome. I love Stockholm because that's, like, my old stomping grounds, and they have awesome coffee they have it's beautiful uh, I love how long the the summer nights are the sun never sets and then in Rome obviously they have amazing food and amazing wine and amazing culture and I really value those things so those are my favorite ones hmm your eyelashes are amazing lol thank you uh, would what would you tell an 11 year old girl playing center D how to succeed and become a Thorns player <laughs> well I would say you have a long way to go you're only 11 enjoy life there are many important things in it besides being a soccer player I would say find your passion find what you most enjoy and follow it follow it to the best of your ability because if you are passionate about something and if you uh, try your best and become your personal best in whatever you're passionate about, then that's an absolute win. Not many people in their lives get to do that, so that's what I would say. If I give you a jersey with my name on it, would you send me one of yours? Hmm. Are you paying the postage, or? How do you get your hair to look so amazing? Uh, have you watched my megasodes? It describes it in detail how it gets like this. This uh, right here is called bed head with minimal product. So enjoy. Favorite hobby? Hmm. <clears throat> I love to cook. I love to read. I'm currently rereading all of the Harry Potter books, even though I'm 28. No shame in that. I love to bike. Um, especially mountain biking and, and getting muddy and all that stuff. So that's kind of what I'm into. Who's my favorite Steeler? Ha! I love that. Jeez, I love the Steelers. I pretty much love all of them, and I support them in everything they do. Uh, but I would have to say that my favorite Steeler, Steeler just retired, Heath Miller. He was class act, and I really enjoyed watching him play. I think that he would do anything for the team. He was an awesome teammate. He made plays when we needed him to make plays, and uh, he's greatly missed. Favorite book? Ooh, that's tough. But my favorite book probably is Jane Eyre by Bronte. It's, it's kind of a classic, um, but I think it's a really powerful story. And it was written hundreds of years ago, so it's pretty cool to to see that kind that kind of powerful story for women you know, way before, way ahead of its time, and, and I think that's why I like it. Have you met Sid's baby? No, but possibly the cutest thing I've ever seen. What Harry Potter character would you be? I mean, with this hair, you put on some glasses, I'm pretty sure I'd look exactly like Harry Potter, and I'm not sure if that's a, a good thing or not, but I have a feeling that that's what I would be cast as. 
What started your obsession with Max? I mean, wh what do you mean? Max are amazing. Why wouldn't you be obsessed with Max is the real, qu the real question. So macaroons are, I mean, um, they're delicious. And I'm so happy that we have a French teammate now who hopefully knows how to make them and can deliver them personally to my door. Favorite TIFOs you've seen at Providence Bar? Uh, definitely the last one at our most recent home game. They had this TIFO that was literally um, top to bottom stadium. And I, I think it was the Little Prince, am I right? Yeah, it was the Little Prince. And so it was, uh, that was my favorite. It was pretty cool. And, and I think it made a really big statement. And, you know, I, I've never seen anything like that. It made me smile really big. If I had a superpower, what would it be? Mm. Superpower. Mm. I think, honestly, this is going to sound pretty stereotypical, but I would want to fly. Could you just imagine if I was, like, running down the field and then all of a sudden I could just, like, just a little bit? I don't know if that'd be fair. I'm not sure I could show that off in, in public, but that's something that I would totally want to do. What's your favorite meal to make? Hmm. I really like making these, I guess, bowls. So, like, they start out with quinoa or rice on the bottom, and then you have avocado and you can kind of put whatever vegetables and and nuts and different spices and things in there so like sometimes I curry some chickpeas and then I'll put in you know cilantro on top with quinoa and cauliflower and things like that and um, yeah I, I think that there's just so many things that you can do with those bowls that I just make them all the time I love it have you ever played yourself on FIFA absolutely and I know every player says this, but I am like so upset by my FIFA score. I so wish it was higher. And I need to try and get in, in touch with these FIFA people and see how, you know, to, to remedy this and maybe like get a tryout and like show them some skills or something and see if, if this is something that, that could be any higher. Knife. Have you cut yourself again with a knife while cooking? Hmm. I mean, not lately. I got some really sharp knives in the kitchen now. I've been very careful. And like I said, we just are having fun while cooking. I'm not telling anybody how to use knives. <laughs> okay, so I have just a few more minutes for questions. Got to go to practice pretty soon because, you know, we got this big game coming up on Sunday. Don't know if you heard about it, but we're playing the Western New York Flash. So I'm going to answer just a few more questions, but this has been a blast so far, so. Favorite roommate? Oh, on the thorns? Hmm. Favorite roommate. That's really, really tough. Jeez. I usually room... Well, okay, so we had this rooming list thing at the, at the beginning of the year. It's like, oh, who would you want to room with? Who don't you want to... So I don't have anybody on my hard no list. So I'm like kind of a floater. I, I like to room with everybody and kind of get to know them on the road. But So I can't say that I've had a favorite roommate because I've been with so many different people. But yeah, I'm getting, everybody, getting to know everybody on the road. Doo -doo. Are you the funniest on the women's dash team? I know that Pino's crazier. Hmm. I think that it... Yeah, in my own mind, I'm a legend, but I'm not sure that people will, you know, agree. Of course, I think that I'm the funniest on the team, but I feel like you have to think you're funny. You have to think you're good if you're going to be good or funny. So, but probably not. Messi or Ronaldo? Oh, man, they're so great. They're, like, both so great in their own right, but I think that... I really love the way that Messi plays. I think that he can do things that I haven't seen other players do. And Ronaldo's a great scorer, and he's a great, um, he's so strong, and he's fast, and he's, like, brilliant to watch. But watching Messi is like watching a circus. Like, you never know what you're going to see. You never know what he's going to do. It's so incredible all the time, so. 
spirit animal. Definitely, I think my spirit, spirit animal is a koala. Like super cuddly, they look so soft and kind. And then game time starts and he's like. <sighs> Best smile on the team, thorns, you have I mean, everybody knows the answer on that. Have you seen Tobin Heath's teeth? They're like perfect. We call her Hoban Teeth, by the way. Just FYI. Who's my idol? Um, I don't think I particularly have an idol, but I have certain people that I look up to a lot, like my my parents and my, my grandparents. Uh, my grandparents aren't with me anymore, but they had a huge impact in my life. They, you know, taught me to be kind and taught me to help people and, and not only think about myself and be able to rely on your family and your teammates and they taught me a lot of really important life lessons that I don't think I would be a, the player or the person that I am today without them and I miss them a lot. What's one place you want to travel to that you haven't visited yet? Oh, the very top place is, um, I have two. One is Greece because I think it's so beautiful. And uh, obviously I have a teammate now, Betos, that can just show me around. But otherwise I want to go back to Sweden and I want to travel up north and stay in a tree house, you know, with like one of those like glass roofs or whatever, and watch the northern lights and like maybe do some sled dogging, like mushing a little bit, like mush. I'll be really nice to those dogs, they look adorable. Um, snowmobiling. It sounds like a pretty cool vacation, and that's that's on the top of my list. If a movie was made about your life, who would you want to play you, and why? Mm, who would I want to play me, or who do I think will play me? <laughs> it's a different story. Um, I feel like if you were going to pick somebody that kind of looks like me, I think, unfortunately, people would say Miley Cyrus. Sorry, Miley, I think you're you're great, but, like, I don't know. That's tough. Hmm. Have you ever had a Tim Tam? I'm going to go with no. I don't even know what the heck that is. Okay, favorite subject in school. So, in college, I took this class called Entrepreneurship, and it totally ignited my fire like in wanting to learn about business and accounting and, and how to get businesses off the ground so that was super exciting to me and and I loved it that was my favorite subject and I would take a million classes on it all right that's all we have time for today thanks guys I loved hanging out with you really appreciate it it's been a blast and go thorns